tipsy cause I've been sipping on Henny. I got the study of my vision and she ain't from the city. And she ain't foreign and she boring. Love the way you twerk it, shawty. Throwing money on her own. I call it independent, shawty. For all your NRG innovation product needs, make sure you check out driveenergy.com. That's D-R-I-V-E-N-R-G.com. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are in some Miata Pro Cup cars, and we are here on Lime Rock, and we are here to do a grip to drift build here today on this MX-5. Definitely a pretty sweet MX-5 with the uh, full digital cluster, full roll cage, and stuff like that. So we are here just on Lime Rock, just trying to grip race this thing right now and uh, try not lose it at the same time. And then we will be going into building this thing into a drift car because with the new angle kits, pretty much any car can be turned into a, uh, a drift car. So as you see, we are in the MX-5 Cup car, which is a definitely a pretty sweet Miata with the uh, full cage, digital dash, sparkle wheel, and everything like that. So it is a car that I've been wanting to build into a drift car for a while and apparently I need should have turned the difficulty up on these guys because uh, they are way back there. I feel like I should uh, slow down a little bit, let them pass me and then uh, have a little fun working my way through traffic because it is a cu spec cup race so there is a lot. They are all, you know, Mazda cup cars. But I feel like uh, I must have turned the difficulty down because uh, I am pretty much out driving these guys really easily, I'm trying to race clean and not hit them. Ooh. So this is something I've been wanting to do since the update came out and uh, this car is a car I've tried to build a drift car on before but it just didn't have the angle that I needed to catch itself. So we are going to do a full build on this, probably a stock motor, maybe a turbo and uh, get that angle kit on here with the new update and uh, build a nice little uh, Miata Cup drift car. And yeah, I definitely should have turned the uh, difficulty up on these guys because uh, apparently it's lower than I thought and uh, I'm just uh, out driving them pretty much in every corner, so. Hey, I tried to not hit you and you hit me. So I do like the interior of this uh, MX-5 because it's got the full digital cluster. Uh, wish it had an NRG wheel like my wheel setup does, but it's got a spark code. Can't really change that. So we are on our Logitech G920 with our Energy Innovations wheel as well as our Energy Innovations bucket seat, hydraulic handbrake, and sequential shifter. But we don't need the handbrake in this one. And he's not moving his hand. Is this car automatic? I thought he moved his hand to shift. I could have been wrong. Oh, apparently it's a paddle shifter minus the paddles. That's uh, kind of interesting. So we are going to finish up this lap here in this MX-5. And then we are going to uh, get in there and get a build on this car. Because I don't think this car will drift now. We can always try it. I mean, if we tap the front, that's not going to help. So this thing is on pretty grippy tires because it is a, you know, a cup race car. And um, it doesn't have a lot of power, so we're going to have to uh, cram more power into this car. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> the power is not there. So we are going to have to cram more power into this car and uh, get that angle kit on there so that we can uh, send this thing sideways and uh, see if we can't get a good drift build on this car. So like I said, been wanting to do a build on this car for a while, just haven't had the ability to because of the fact of the uh, lack of steering angle, which we now have fixed with the update. So of course we took first on that one. So we are going to go in there and get a build on this car and uh, see if we can't get this thing sideways, get some power out of this car. We might have to do an engine swap, who knows. But uh, I'll catch you guys when we get to the garage and uh, we'll get this thing built up.
All right, so let's see what we can do first here in the uh, conversion aspect of it. We can do an engine swap, of course. We can go up to V6, V8, or a four rotor. Uh, we can do a turbo or a supercharger, which we will probably be doing a turbo on this car. I don't think we can do any modifications on wing. We can do a really big wing, or we can take off the little duck spoiler, but we'll leave it all on there. So first thing we need to do is check out what tires, and this thing is on sport tires. That is why it is definitely gripping very well. Increase the fronts to 235s. Increase the backs to 245s. A little bit of a stagger. And then uh, throw on some interestingly uh, light wheels, hopefully. I think I'm in the wrong aspect for light wheels. Do like the Yankees on there, but I think we need something with a little bit of definition. Although the five star gram lights, we'll go with those. So, like I said, we are doing a grip to drift build challenge to see what we can do with this car. It is definitely a cool looking car on the inside with the full cage exposed roof gone so not a car you'd want to take into the rain but um you know it's forza we don't worry about it throw all these parts on there brakes hopefully it actually allows us to put your suspension up yep there it is angle kit yes i know the angle kit gives me more steering angle install angle kit and this car is already light, but we'll make it even lighter. Now let's see how much power we can get out of this thing on the stock motor, because I am enjoying doing stock motor builds recently and not doing motor swaps. So let's see what we can accomplish with this. I mean, it doesn't weigh much. We're almost, we're at like 300. We'll be at over 300. I think we will probably have to add a turbo to this thing and uh, just give it a uh, really big bump in horsepower. Because I think, yep, 360. We could give it a shot at what it is now, and then if we decide we need to add a turbo, we can always add a turbo because we have the ability to add turbos in the uh, game. So we're going to back out. And we're going to go to the tuning aspect of this car and uh, get the suspension lowered and um, change our tire pressures up, get everything to a baseline tune, and then we will go from there. We're going to leave all that, add a little bit of toe, add high caster, good steering angle, Let's lower these a little bit, but not much because we're going to see how it handles stock without adjustments on this angle kit. A little bit higher in the front for uh, nose diving, for transitions and weight transfer. Definitely going to have to drop these brakes down so we can maybe get a drag brake going for tandems. If we can get some tandems, we may take this onto an online session, so that's why we did that. And then we'll put it on there, and there we go. That actually sits pretty, pretty nice and low. I do like it. So we're going to head to the track. I'll catch you guys when we get to the track. And we will, uh, well, I don't think we want to do Circuit de Catalunya. Because we got to go drift. Time race, circuit, drift. There we go. Probably so five minutes. And where do we want to go with this car? I mean, we were at Lime Rock, so... We could always throw it at Lime Rock again and see, since we were there for the grip section, we'll throw it at Lime Rock, see if we can't get uh, combine those turns. But definitely curious how the steering angle is going to work on this car, since it did not have much to begin with, and it is a, a race spec car. Air quotes. So we're going to see how this works. Definitely super excited to do this. and Because uh, if this works, then you know we can make any cars, drift cars, really with an angle kit which you know is kind of uh the idea of you know the angle kit to make any car a drift car i want to make sure it's on the standing nope i want to do standing start there we go so mx5 cup car switched over converted to 
basically drift car. So let's see how this goes. The car looks really. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> so, steering angle now is so much. And, uh, this should be good to go sideways for us. And, uh, we're just gonna send it. I don't think the power is there, though. But the angle is definitely there now. So now the car has plenty of angle in the steering. So I think we probably need a turbo kit for a little more power for this track. As we go off track, his head's just bobbing back and forth. So we may need a turbo to get, you know, some more higher speed sections of tracks. Click it in. So the angle on this car is definitely there now. So the suspension feels okay. It's there because we can just grab that right there. I think a turbo might make this car a lot more fun. But it's not too bad. Not too bad for a first uh, throw out there. Get a little first person action going. I really wish the wheel would go 900 degrees. We're just running that grass line right now. Apparently, I guess I drift a little bit better in first person now. Whoa. A little clutch grab there to make sure we didn't over rotate. I don't have to do that as much anymore with the steering angle kit. So, switch it up to no steering wheel. That's going to hit the tires. So I think we're going to throw a turbo on this car because I think a turbo would make this car that much better. So uh, we're going to hop back real quick. Advantage of this now, we do not have to quit. So that was one of the biggest updates that they ever did on this, including the drift suspension. So we're going to upgrade shop. We're going to uh, throw a turbo on the car. Doesn't put it up too much, but once we upgrade the turbo, we should be upwards of a decent amount of power. 435, 453, and a little Miata. Turbo Miata, this should uh, give us enough power. If not, maybe we'll be doing a, uh, a V8 swap and make uh, some uh, interesting uh, angle choices in a V8 Miata. So now that we are got a turbo in here, Let's uh, feel a little little flutter and all the the crackles from this car. So see how much a turbo makes a difference. We may have swapped this thing to a V8. Or not. I definitely like how this thing handles right now with that turbo. We'll tap the brake there, change of angle. If we wouldn't have cut that grass, we would have been a lot. The angle kits make these cars so, so much more fun to drive and so much more angle to be thrown. Ugh. I thought I was gonna wreck my car. So. If you guys are enjoying the angle kits like I am, let me know down in the comment section. What have you guys built that doesn't normally drift? Did you build something that was maybe a different car that wouldn't normally be a drift car? Because I know I have a few of those that I want to uh, bring out. Maybe in another episode of building a... Let's build a drift car on a car that's not a drift car. You know, a swapped car that we know didn't have enough angle to begin with. Like, say, Hyundai Veloster, Veloster N. Maybe a, maybe a Civic. You know, because I'm pretty sure a lot of the Honda boys that like, you know, all the Honda cars are running rear-wheel drive converted Hondas now with angle kits. And they're probably shredding just as hard as all the rear-wheel drive cars in the game. So 
So I feel like I don't need as much tow on the car anymore with this uh, angle kits. So I feel like I'm going to adjust that a little bit. But I totally forgot that we can link entire tracks now. I forgot that was also part of it. We're it's not just certain sections now. Which, oh, I was like, oh, we're just gonna bang red line and try and monji that. So let's see if we can actually link this entire track without losing our drift scores. That's not gonna, so we're gonna start at the line or the first turn and we'll try and go. So we are gonna see if we can actually link this track and keep our drift scores to the longevity of the entire track with this little Miata. That angle is just so much Now we got to keep monging this. We apparently missed that monji for half a second. I have a feeling uh, online sessions are going to become monji fests now. Because the ability to get points everywhere like this. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that in this car. But this Miata is definitely getting down. I think I need to turn the toe down a little bit because we used to have to run a lot of front toe to try and get angle out of these cars. But with this angle kit now, I don't think we have to. So let's go make that quick adjustment and see how that changes. So, so far, not options. So, so far, this uh, grip to drift is uh, working out quite well. So, like I said, I'm going to probably be doing some other ones that are not meant to be drift cars and we will make drift cars what is the weirdest drift car you made in the game that wasn't supposed to be a drift car but is now because of the angle kits let me know I'm very interested to see what kind of builds people are making because I haven't hopped on an online session yet with these cars so I haven't been to an online session with these uh, angle kits yet or scoring to see how far behind in points I'm gonna be because of everybody you know doing the manjis down the straight so let's see how much getting rid of all that toe affects us because normally when you got rid of a lot of toe you didn't have anywhere near enough steering angle in the cars but now that we have I actually changed a lot but now that we have 60 degrees of angle in the angle kits that's not bad I feel like I have to work a little bit harder though with almost zero toe. We are going to try and manji this section out. Nope, we're going to lose it all in the grass. So I th feel like getting rid of the toe does make a big dramatic difference in my steering response in the front of the car. So we are going to probably end up putting toe back into this car. Because on a wheel, that makes a bit of a difference, as you can see. I'm almost fighting to keep angle now. Unlike the other one it was before, I wasn't really fighting to keep angle. So you still need to run some toe on these cars. See, I'm not holding as much angle now as I think I should. But the Manjis are good. I was going to try and throw a 360, but I didn't. So, I think that's going to do it here for this episode here on Grip to Drift Challenge on the MX-5. So, if you guys like to see and want to see more, let me know down in the comment section down below. What is the weirdest car you guys have built so far? I'm very curious to see. I'm wondering, did they add more smoke? It seems like they almost added more smoke. Because I don't remember there being this much smoke when I was doing donuts before. So if they did, 
and you or if I'm crazy let me know down in the comment section down below but like I said let me know your craziest build that you've done with this new angle kit because I will be doing some crazy builds here soon so until next time, until next time you guys know you can follow me on Facebook Twitch Twitter and Instagram all of which are found in the description box below and as always like thank you guys for watching I think there's more smoke I'm evil rabbit there's definitely more <laughs> I'm out